Hey guys, welcome back. So I was kind of proud of myself that I got the meeting with the goddess thing right yesterday. I mean, I guess it's obvious once you think about it. Um, and I'm sure I've heard it before, but I looked it up online and this guy went through all of the Joseph Campbell stuff and he's like, okay, this is the call to adventure. This is the refusal of the call. It's kind of interesting. I was reading it. Call to adventure, you must come with me to Alderaan. Luke says, no, uh I have to take care of the farm. Then it says, meeting with the goddess. Leia is the goddess. She's a help, not a hindrance. I don't really like the idea of the goddess being an actual person. It's kind of weird. I like it. I like, well, I know that that's where it comes from in mythology. But, like, make it more interesting in your current story. I don't know. The ultimate boon. Okay, what's that? Though the Empire is not completely destroyed, it's hampered quite a bit. Luke now understands something about the ways of the Force and will use them for good. Hmm. I don't know. I should start playing the game, though. Um, well. Okay. I guess I wanted to talk today about... I, I forgot, I should mention, like, my birthday happened on Monday. Today's Friday. Turn 27. Don't know where to go in this game or my life. Big bad bugaboom. Uh, I guess he's up top somewhere. Oh, the arrow's pointing over here. So I don't want to go that way. I had a good birthday. Um, I guess I don't have too many great memories of birthdays. I talked about a good one. When I was 17, I got my license. Um, and then when I was a kid, obviously, I did the bowling stuff. But I forgot to talk about this birthday, which was pretty good. So, um, well, my birthday was on Monday, but on Sunday, my parents, I had a good day. Um, I didn't, I didn't go to church, which I usually do. So I just like slept in and I edited some videos and I edited a video where I talked about, and I posted it on Twitter and it should, it's probably still my pinned tweet, which was just like a video of me talking about why. I avoid social situations, like why it's hard. Um, and I just said like, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to talk to people just because I'm afraid I'm gonna let them down or whatever. Well, oh, let's go up here. This is something. Um, And then I went out to dinner with my parents and we had steak. It was fun. Um, we ate a bunch of food. We had stuffed mushrooms and cheesy mushrooms and french fries and steak that was nice i don't i don't ever go out to eat so it's <laughs> kind of a nice treat to eat somewhere where they make terrible food for you oh. ah. i don't know where to go that's okay i'm gonna leave Um, let's explore the observatory before I end today because uh, I think there's probably something I can do. Um, so that was a good Sunday. And then on Monday, I went to work and like I was like, oh, this is going to be a bad birthday because I've got to work. And But the day went by really quick. It was like a good, it was, it was as good of a day that I could have at work because I don't like my job. And so it's like, well, the best days are, are the days that go by quick. Like, I have stuff to do, but it's not stressful stuff. Um, this is like, I need more power stars. 
Okie dokie. Can I get over there? I have a lot of star bits. Is there a guy I can feed star bits to? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so Monday I had a good day at work. And people were nice to me but like i didn't have to talk like i get worried about like when it's my birthday because people are gonna like i never talk to come up and like hey it's your birthday so like uh what are you doing or like what's up with that like you're older how does that feel i'm like i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> okay i don't have any i don't know where to go uh, Okay, let's do this. Loop de loop. Um Then I came home and my boss got me a cupcake and I ate the uh, well I streamed. And I tweeted in the morning like I'm gonna stream for my birthday. And so people actually came, <laughs> like a lot of people, like five, or four or five people. Um, and it was really nice for people to be like, happy birthday, and <laughs> I don't know. It was nice. I'm not used to nice like that, like involving other people. I mean, so I, I guess I'm realizing now, like, well, that's the closest I've ever been to hanging out with friends on my birthday. That's, like, I guess what you're supposed to do. Um, what am I doing? Um, like I mentioned before, it's still weird to call people I know online, like, actual friends. Um, but that's the closest I've ever been to hanging out with friends on my birthday usually uh, for the most part I just um, go out to dinner with my parents or um, just hang at home or I guess when I was in school I remember a couple times it was my birthday like in college and I would just go to class and come home my parents would be like sometimes they'd buy me like an ice cream cake and we'd eat it <laughs> And it was always kind of nice, I guess. But also also kind of sad. <laughs> Wait, how do I go forward? Oh, okay. I got it. Is there a time limit on me? This is gonna take a lot of concentration. Yeah, when you're in high school and college, it's sad when you don't have friends, because it's like, that's what you're supposed to be doing, I guess. Oh, that was just like a warm up. Now they're gonna do a time on me. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Whoa, no, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 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 oh. Mario. Okay, this is. Oh, ah. Slow, slow. Don't go too slow, because then you're going to fall off the left part. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Don't die. I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> uh, just don't die. Okay. Is there a break button? Where am I going? Oh. Uh, I like that it's not too sensitive. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hoi, yo. I finished streaming Jedi Fallen Order yesterday? Oh no, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Okay, we're okay. Did I get it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I at least I got one star today. So I guess, t well, tomorrow I'm going to stream, I don't know if I should, 
I, I had the idea of like, well, maybe just do like a palate cleanser of Stardew Valley. And then I'll start streaming. I want the, my next idea was to stream The Last of Us, the Left Behind DLC, because I, I already played The Last of Us here recently, so um, I don't really want to play it again, but um, maybe I could play The Left Behind DLC. It's not that long, it'll take a day or two, um, but I want to play it again. And. I remember when I finished playing The Last of Us, I, at the, on the last episode I think I said, well it's over and I'm sad, but I'll play the Left Behind DLC next, and I never did. So, um, but nobody was sad about that because nobody is watching, nobody was watching. Uh, I'm not going to finish this one today probably. But. Let's see what happens. Um, I had a note. I, I, it was my grandpa's birthday too. Um, like two Fridays ago. I went to see him. Whenever I... I mean, religion is such a big part of my family's life. So it always comes up. Um, and I, I only have a couple minutes left. I could go like on a big long rant about it. <laughs> Just, I don't know. So I don't know if I want to bring it up now or later, but I mean, I always preface it by saying like, they're good people. <laughs> uh, okay. There's like an orange. Do I just go in? Use the pipe on the other side. Um, so, I guess there's a lot of, yeah, I don't really have time. I'll just talk about my grandpa's birthday a little bit. Uh, we went to this restaurant called La Rosa's. He's there every day. He eats there every day. Um, since he retired, I guess. Or since my grandma died, probably. Um, and he knows everybody there and he just eats, he's from like four o'clock to 10 o'clock. He just sits in the back and reads his Bible and talks to people who come. And so we had his birthday there and some people came. What does that do? I don't want that. Um, people that I didn't really know. It was this young kid. He was a little bit older than me, probably, and his girlfriend. And they were talk talking about, the kid mentioned that he does like this, I don't know, I forget what it is. It's like some kind of spiritual thing. Um, anytime my parents or my grandparents hear anything spiritual that's not Christian, they're like, oh, that's not good. And then they said something that was funny. They're like, and it always sounds so condescending. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's searching. <laughs> Which is like a Christian's way of being like, you know, bless your heart. You know, you're searching. You're wrong about everything, but <laughs> you're searching. <laughs> That's the, I haven't talked about it before. That's always the most frustrating thing. It's like, Christians acting like they know all the answers to everything. They don't know anything more than anybody else. Trust me. Um, we're all searching. <laughs> to act like Christians aren't aren't searching, or they know. They know the unknowable. That's what spirituality is: is connecting with the unknowable part of the universe so to act like somebody who's searching is less than you is is kind of condescending and but whatever <laughs> my parents are good people trust me um it's just they talk about a lot about religion and, and i guess i disagree with them about some stuff 
and but I never really talked to him about it, so I don't really have a right to complain. Um. I guess that's it. They've, over their life, it feels like they've become more open to stuff. Um, which is good. You think, like, when you get older, you get more closed off. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not okay with, like, gay people and stuff, but... <laughs> I remember... Okay, this is the last thing I'll say. Um, I want to say this story because it makes me sound good. Um, because eventually... This, this is what I had to overcome. <laughs> so... Um, I remember when I was in middle school, um, my school had this, like, LGBT day or something. Ah! Okay, I guess I was supposed to go quicker than that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, there was an LGBT group at the school, and they had this day where they, like, did something. I think this was, like, a day... Where they like, I remember there was a day where like they taped their mouth shut because like gay people were silent before and, and or something like that. Um, which as a kid, I, I remember thinking like, I would like to do that because I wouldn't like to, <laughs> I would go to class and I wouldn't have to talk. <laughs> um, but I remember my, um, my mom heard about it and she was like, I don't remember exactly what she said. I think I think this is what she said. He was like, well, I heard about this day they're having at school, like when we were driving to school in the morning. And she's like, um, well, you know you know what the Bible says about um, being gay or, 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 or that just, maybe she just said like, you know what the Bible says about that stuff. Like, we don't really believe that that's okay. So, um, but just to let you know. <laughs> We don't believe that that's okay. And um, I'm really trash talking my parents. They're good people. Like, the the proof that they're good people is because I overcame that because um, I guess I saw a little bit of uh, hypocrisy with how they were acting versus what they were saying. Like, <laughs> which is weird. You'd think it the other way around. Like, they were acting like good people, but they were saying, like, don't treat gay people like equals <laughs> but that wasn't how they were acting um so i learned how to act from them um which is weird <laughs> and so they she said if we don't we don't think that's okay <laughs> um and i remember thinking like okay yeah i mean i i never thought really I think it was in seventh or eighth grade. I just never really thought about it. And I remember thinking, okay. I mean, the thing was like, I never talked at school and I never talked to anybody. So like, I wasn't gonna apply that, what she said to my life because I wasn't gonna talk to anybody. So it's just like, okay, that's what we believe, whatever. No big deal. I'm not gonna use that information to change who I am in any way. <laughs> um, that's just what we do, I guess. And then when I got older, I don't know. I don't know if there was a point where I'm like, okay, I think being gay is okay. <laughs> Versus not okay. There must have been. It just never really came up. It didn't really seem like there was anybody gay that I interacted with. <laughs> so I was never like, had a point where like I had to treat them like a person or not a person or like a discussion came up where like there were people arguing and I had to pick a side it's never really happened to me but I I stand with the gays <laughs> I don't know should I fight this guy I'm going so long today I have an episode title. I guess it looks, uh, I really don't want to. It's too long. Okay. It looks like it might be pretty easy, though. If I die, I'll stop, but there we go. Hey. 
Is that it? No. He's doing the Phantom Ganon tennis thing. Ah, I keep falling. Ah, uh, shoot. I need coins. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Stand with the gays. I guess I have an episode title. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been doing very good with the titles lately, but maybe I'm just raising my standard. Stop being so pretentious. Um, okay. <laughs> Wahoo! That was fun. Trip down old Mario memory lane. Um, hopefully that was fun for you. It's fun for me. And I got seven stars today. Seven episodes. Mario and the seven stars. Okay. I'm going to be streaming more, so I guess I'll say... I'll see you when I see you. Because it might be sooner than tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I always like saying see you tomorrow. It's kind of optimistic. I've mentioned that before. I'll be here tomorrow, I promise. And you should be here too. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, goodbye.